We are here at Copa Virginia in a brown belt gi match in the men's master division, 185 pound division. We have Travis Outen in the blue gi and Kristen, Christopher Loza in the white gi on the bottom. We have a double guard pull where Travis comes on top, scores the advantage point here at Copa Virginia, immediately going for a log splitter pass and then standing up. He just follows him right up and he starts trying to grab the uh, collar almost for maybe a loop choke or something. But I don't, I, could, I don't know if he's going after the head in order to try to pull him down or if he's going to try to go from a choke. I mean, down. that loop choke will kind of function for both. If you go for it standing, you, they either have to posture their head out. And because they're standing, it's really difficult to do. So functionally, you really force your opponent to move. So Los is doing a good job here of staying active. He is he has dropped his hips lower than Travis' hips, which makes him have to hold his abs up a lot more. It's a little more tiresome of a position versus if he gets a little higher, uh, he can force Travis to eat more of his weight. But Alex to go to a lasso guard here. He's got a low lasso. Travis does a good job of pushing his outside leg over and trying to pass out of it. But Losa's doing a very good job of staying active with it. Goes to the single leg X, reverse De La Hiva. Uses it to sweep, but Travis comes back on top. Losa can work for that knee bar, though, if Travis isn't careful and locks it down. I think that is what he's going for, because if you look, he's, he's digging under the leg, and it looks like he wants to expose that leg and then roll through. Yeah, especially with his hip position as well. You can, you can posture up and push with your hips, and Losa on the bottom can push Travis's hips on the outside. But Travis is doing a good job staying really heavy on that knee and keeping the top side pressure on Losa's shoulder in order to prevent Losa from being able to push over yeah, and extend was, his body he away. He was grabbing a cross to the, the top of the collar on this side so that he can't really twist his body this direction and grab uh, the grab the knee that he's going for. Yeah. It's kind of a twisted out position. Losa keeps pushing at that top side gi grip on the on the leg, potentially trying to free his own knee there. If he can push Losa's knee down and get his own knee out, he can start to work a pass off of this. Yeah. But in this position, this is a very, very tough half guard to pass on the side that uh, Travis has pushed on. Yeah, it's a very... Uh, does a great job. He unlocks it and then immediately ends, ends in the pass and gets the points. Yeah. He's going to try to turtle and come up from there um, and try to get out of that position. But Travis goes Working right to the back. Working that choke from the back. Yeah. Uses it to get the back points and then immediately lets go of that collar grip. And then this is a, a more difficult position um, from your hands and knees uh, to try to get out of. But at the same time, he's a little more protected in this position so that if, uh, if and when Tra Travis moves to one side or the other, that he should be able to get up and get out of this position. Yeah, Travis is very, very heavy forward. He's got his hips almost on the small of Losa's back. When and he we're falls down there, he ends up almost head to head, which is a much better position to keep. And they're going to get a restart in the middle. Yeah, I'm curious to see where we're, where we're going to restart. I assume we're going to restart in a similar position here, but. And we have 258 left in this match. Um, we do tra have Travis up by seven. And he is on his back, and he is trying to reach across the. Uh, Looks like he's going for that bow and arrow choke. Yeah, that's what I was, or, or even like the modified uh, bow and arrow choke. Yeah, college choke from the back. Yeah. Going for maybe the inverted because triangle is, from the back. he is trying to get over that arm. And if he reaches through and across and then pulls that collar across while he pushes the far shoulder down, you get like a modified bow and arrow that's a little little nastier than your typical bow and arrow. Yeah, um, very, very tight. Yeah, very tight and, and very difficult to get out of once this it's looks, set up. I can't quite see the hand position, but Losa looks like he is going to tap. And that, yeah. yep, that was a, that was a cross side uh, bow and arrow grip. Very, very uncommon bow and arrow variation or collar choke from the back variation. Very nice work from Travis Outen, and he takes this match via submission.